said it a million times in my videos and I'll say it again. Nothing quite like being able to wake up next to the river. Back at the top of Stikin, that first lap was fantastic. Took me just ridiculously too long to end up finally getting up here. Everything I was hoping for and more, so much in between stuff you just never see footage of. It's, it's all time. I absolutely love it. The first lap was epic, but I'm also very much looking forward to this second lap because I'll know the lines, know what to expect, have a better idea what the features are because just didn't scout anything because Benny and Alec knew the line, so we just followed them. Very much ready to put on, but still got a minute. We have all three vehicles up here. We still got to do shuttle. Ready for some more big water joy. So stoked to get back in there. Is it 7 a.m.? Nope. Right at entrance falls. It's over six miles to paddle in, 45 minutes. Get the, get the shoulders all warmed up. Time to drop back in and I am stoked. Let's go. Make sure not to drive right as early today. at the air like Alec had yesterday, but maybe the next time. I've got window cherry by now. Imagine when I see the footage, it's like, okay, you see the explosion and there's current. This just looks so much flatter right where you're going to be dropping in than I would ever like to see in that hole. Plus that, like, whatever is happening there, yeah. it's almost like there's another rock right there. Because that's different, that's different, like, I do not recall going up and then down. It was always like, Rrr. That might be why it's worth, maybe there's a new rock backed up against there and it's slowing down the entrance, creating more of a pour over. Yeah, it's definitely different. I, I, just, I don't know if I'm gonna do it to strip it out yet. I just don't see that like, oh yeah, if I'm right there, I'll melt and pop out. And I don't like the idea of surfing that because it's so slow behind it. And then, that thing, and then there's the body resurf hole in the bottom right. Like, yeah, when I, <laughs> I'm gonna be 60 like, all right, we're better now, let's go. And finally came, it took 30 years so, for me to get this. I know that this hole always probably looks pretty awful, but from the footage I've seen, it looks like there's often a lot of explosions like pushing out of the hole. So even if you were to get stuck, which people often don't, it looked like you do a tumble too and get out. But both Benny and Alec agreed that the hole looks way worse this year because the river's always changing. And this would make sense if potentially a rock rolled into these other rocks at the lip and it's making the drop go more up and then down, creating more of a pour over, which would explain why it looks freaking awful right now because it's like dead flat behind it. It's just a full on pour over and I don't really imagine making it through it right now. And if you were to get served, I 
to have trouble believing you would watch out. Yeah, those guys are thinking it definitely looks a little worse. They said it never really looked that much better, but it definitely looks worse. Didn't run it today. The level dropping, we'll see what happens, but not only is the hole itself looking awful right now, Alex thinks the entrance looks worse. And then right around the corner, you can't see, there's another gnarly hole that pretty much all the water goes to that actually kind of looks like a body research hole. So, um, definitely not feeling it today. Hard to say if I want to do it on one of the next laps. Definitely a solid chance I'm save this one for another trip, but which is sad because it's so iconic. I want it so bad, but that hole looks awful. knowing everything. <laughs> I think I'll more fun. Canyon so sick. All right, I got lit up in both of the holes in this rapid yesterday. I'm gonna see if I can go right at the first one and left at the second one. my plan didn't work I was too far left because I was worried about the right pocket I ended up launching off of the main pocket surfed out of that pocket thought I was gonna surf into the other pour over and then just hit the corner and surf just as I've met oh that was great Get the camp and chill. That was fantastic lap. We're only halfway done. Today's a fantastic day. <laughs> it's definitely a pretty dope campsite. So happy. All right, second lap going fantastic. Feeling so good now that I like know the lines, feeling better in big water. And now I know what we got downstream. So stoked for tomorrow. You, yeah. let's go. All right, back at it. A lot of good stuff to come. Woo. That ender, the downtime, man. Oh God. <laughs> Benny Siphon, he's kind of stuck in a boil, but then I saw you just get some downtime. I was like, oh wow, he's like really stuck.
looks good. Here, one of the most iconic rapids. D drive. You can touch the stick with this course. But the sick thing about day two is we get all these rapids back to back in this sick gorge. Fantastic. Well, just made it back to the put-in. Drove through Deese Lake, rallied up, dropped all our stuff off, but we're turning right back around, heading back to Deese Lake, because the Voorhees have some priorities. That is, they can't miss the UFC fight that's on tonight, so we're gonna drive about 40 minutes back to Deese Lake. <laughs> First Putin I've had back, let's go. fantastic finish to our second lap on the Stikin. Knowing what to expect was, now when I go in for the third lap, I'm gonna be like, it's gonna be a one day, cruising fast, it's gonna be fantastic. Let's go.